Okay, now I can say I've driven across Canada. I've been on Salt Spring Island more than a week already, but until I went to dip my feet in the ocean, it didn't feel like I'd properly crossed Canada. I headed out from Nova Scotia, gosh, it was more than a month ago now, and the last thing I did before I left Nova Scotia is I wanted to go and dip my feet in the ocean. So I did. I picked a road, drove down to the shoreline, found myself a little secluded beach. I took my shoes and my socks off, and I went and dipped my feet in the Atlantic. And when I came out, there was a message waiting for me. And I suppose the message probably wasn't meant for me, but I felt like I had to leave a response. So I wrote, I love you too. And that was the beginning of my journey back. But before I left Nova Scotia, there was one more thing I had to do. My family arrived in Nova Scotia sometime in the 1700s, and apparently I have ancestors buried in Bridgeville, Nova Scotia. So I looked it up, and I went to Bridgeville. And I went along the highway, and you pass Churchville and Springville, and eventually you get to Bridgeville. Um, and Bridgeville is a community, a farming community of about 350 people. And I knew the names of my ancestors. I figured, okay, well, I'm looking for James McDonald. I'm part of the McDonald clan. And the problem is, so was everyone else in Nova Scotia. I swear, about a third of the cemetery was McDonald's. I found two James McDonald's, two Alexander McDonald's, and I know I have ancestors by those names, but who knows which one. But I did find the one headstone that I know was my family. Having done that, I could drive home all the way across the country until I get here on Salt Spring Island. This is the Pacific Ocean. And now I've dipped my feet in both the Pacific and the Atlantic. It's a full circle. So I'm here on Salt Spring Island to edit my film. And I wouldn't be here without the help of a friend of mine who, when he found out I needed a place to stay, said, well, I've got a room. So I can edit my film here on Salt Spring Island. Um, and he and I go way back. Uh, I used to write uh, articles about how to make your computer quiet. And that's how I know him. And... Uh, not only is he giving me a place to stay, but when he found out I needed to build an editing system to edit my film, he reached out to some of the companies that we used to review their hardware. And he said, hey, this is a worthwhile project. Would you mind sponsoring some hardware so that he has a computer to edit with? And some of them said yes. So I have to thank NVIDIA for supplying a very high-end graphics card, a Titan RTX. Kingston is supplying six terabytes of SSD storage so that I have a nice fast storage uh, system to keep my film on. Silverstone supplied a case that actually fits all of my footage, which is impressive. My footage is spread across, I think, about 14 different drives. So thank you to everyone who stepped up. That's amazing and uh, unanticipated. Um, and uh, so now, while I'm here on Salt Spring, um, I guess I'll start to... Uh, making some videos because I have lots more from the film to show but I maybe I won't put out videos quite as often as I did while I was on the road you know maybe I'll make a video every two weeks so you can expect to see that uh, some highlights uh, from the footage and maybe a little bit of what I learn while I'm here on Salt Spring so until the next one uh, let's say two weeks I'll see you then